Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Maui Jim Sunglasses. First Tellurium Corp, the future of mining. And Hardy, rods and reels. Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Pasek, the Fly Fish Fanatic. And welcome to another episode of On the Bench with Sport Fishing on the Fly. Um, today I'm going to be tying a tropical bait fish pattern. Um, I've, uh, my wife and I have made the decision that uh, we're done with this, uh, this snow stuff up here in Alberta and uh, we are moving permanently to uh, Mexico uh, next year. So um, I gotta get my box uh, filled up. I mean I've got, I tie these anyway because I, when I, every time I go down but obviously I'm going to need more. So uh, today we're going to be doing my version of Lefty's Deceiver. It's a little bit different than the original, um, but this is my version that I found works extremely well. So, here we go. So, on the vise today, we have an A-Rex TP610 Trout Predator Streamer, size 1. Um, for the thread, I'm going to be using uh, white nano silk and a 12 watt. For the... Um, tail I'm going to be using some white oh there we go uh, this is old but white saddle tackle just two two of them for the body I'm going to be using some flat braid in cream from Semperfly for the flash some red flashaboo I don't have the number because I don't have the bag anymore but just some right nice bright red flashaboo um, for the gills I'm going to be using some strung shalopin in red uh, for the wing, white bucktail, and for the overwing, red bucktail. That's it. I'm actually going to zoom out here, otherwise you're not going to see the whole fly because this is a big fly. So let's get her started. So first thing I do, this one is heavy on the wax. I lose a lot of wax on this fly um, just because a lot of these materials are slippery and you want to get this this uh um really want the stuff tied down especially that deer hair it really gets uh it can be very slippery and it doesn't want to doesn't like holding so i'm going to come back to about the tip of the hook give or take um then i'm going to just come forward here and back i'm just building just a little bit of a of a not so much of a body but just a base for everything material to stick to so again wax wax I'm going to take two of my saddle hackle feathers and I'm going to line them up so they go in the same direction. And I'm going to line them up like so. And I want these to be about there. That's That looks about good. So and I'm going to put it right on top. And I'm going to hold this on top. Just come back over top of that a bit. And then just see how that looks. And that looks not bad. A lot of times I'll have to adjust these, but just to make sure that they're not they don't have too much of a twist in them. This one's got a little bit of a twist, but that's okay. It's not bad actually. Okay, so and as you can see, they kind of sit on top of each other. It's kind of what you want. Okay. Actually, you know what? No, I just noticed I put that on wrong which is a good thing to notice now. So you see that this has got the outside, that's got the inside. I don't want that, I want outside, outside. The outside, the two insides need to be on top of each other because um, I, I want that uh, I want that shiny feather on the outside. There, see, that's better. That's better. So now again, same thing, I'm just gonna lay that on top right on top shorten my thread up a bit to a loose wrap bring her down four or five wraps see how she's sitting it's not bad right there I'm just gonna go in open wraps just to and I'm not it's not they're not tight open wraps they're just open wraps just to get it tied in that's good just get rid of that now I'm gonna wax it a bit more and just make sure those butts are tied down really well and that's it yeah that looks good right now they're just kind of sitting off to one side but when they get wet they won't 
So, flash a boom. Just going to take two or three strands, full strands. You don't want to go crazy on the flash with these flies, but three or, like I said, two, three, four at the most, full strands. And what, I'm gonna, what I do is I'm going to lay this in one side, the length of the tail plus a bit, because I know these are this these strands are longer. So now I'm going to lay this one on the other side, on your side. So I'm going to have half on your side and half on my side. Just tie those down back to there. So now I know that these, I'm just going to bring them back. And I'll just cut that about the length of the tail, maybe just a slightly, slightly longer. And that one's pretty good. So there. There's my flash in the tail. Very simple. Don't need a lot. Okay. Now I like taking the uh, the body hat, the body that I'm going to use here. In this case, it's the flat braid from Semperfly in cream. Um, I like the cream and the pearl for this. Uh, sometimes I'll use, depending what I'm tying, um, for tropical. I'll use uh, like this one here. It's got the uh, blue on the underbody, right, of the same stuff. So, and basically, all the, this, this won't get seen a lot. This is more of a cover-up than anything. Okay, so just bringing that flat braid all the way back to the front here. Don't let it go, because that's what happens. Like I said, this is more of a cover-up, so it's, it's not a huge deal if you don't get it all. This is more of me just being picky. Um, I probably should have cut myself a new piece because this one is a little on the short side. But again, I'm not going to see any of the stuff in the front, so I don't have to go all the way because I still got to put my wing in and all that stuff. Oh, and, I, and I'm putting a soft head on this as well. Uh, I forgot to mention that stone full soft head. So, okay. So now I'm just going to come back over top just a little bit right to about there and really wax that up now okay you really want to have your your thread wax now if you don't want to use a nano silk or a GSP um, you can use a classic waxed or something like that but still wax that even don't don't not wax it you want this waxed so I already got my piece of my bit of uh, Bucktail in my stacker, my white I do at least. I don't have the red yet, but I'll do that on camera. So I'm just gonna pinch these tips and then just pull out anything that's shorter onto my desk here. And I want this to be about there. I want it to see where this, this hump is. I want it to be about to that hump. Okay, so about there, okay? So I'm gonna now cut that off then again, I just want to make sure this is really waxed here. And I'm going to actually spin this to your hair. So I'm going to put it right up to the, the eye. And do what you loose wrap, a loose wrap, a loose wrap. And then I'm actually going to let it spin around. Okay, like I said, this is not a typical lefties. This is, this is def, definitely different than a regular lefties deceiver. So I'll just go through that head, tighten all those tie all those uh, those butts down and then I take my uh, oh, where did I put it? my little dubbing brush here and I just want to make sure I get those fibers all the way around so you can see that that's all the way around okay again I'm just gonna wax as you can see, I'm using that, uh, I've got the black cobbler's wax from Zemperfly, and I've got this the creamy colored one. Obviously, I like the creamy colored one for this fly, uh, because I don't want to put any black into the into it. So now, red bucktail. Find the longest fibers I can find on this tail. Cut it down. Now, this is a tropical-ish pattern but it is a it's just a streamer these work extremely well for gerards in bc and uh, those big rainbows in the shishwap um, these work extremely well 
I'm just going to do that in my hand so I don't uh, do it over here. So it doesn't vibrate the whole desk. Just line up those tips. Same process as before. Pinch those tips. Pull out anything that's loose and short. I know I want to be about the length, the same length there. If not slightly, slightly, ever so slightly longer. And this one I am not spinning. Okay, so again, really wax your thread here. I'm going to lay that in the same spot, loose wrap, and now I'm tightening it up right away. You can see, how, and I'm cranking on this, like I'm really cranking down on this, these hairs. I want these to really hold right on top there. There we go. You see, that's right on top. Okay. Not too worried about the head. It's all going to get covered and stuff anyway. I'm just going to put a dab of M300M or crazy glue, just a odd, tiny little dab, just to hold those uh, that uh, deer hair. Okay, so that's good, 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 good. Next step. Now this is something. It's up to you. You can you can tie this in the round all the way around. So just. Uh, tie in your hackle feather and just do it or you can just rip off eight or ten from the each side of the stem stack it together so it's the same length and then just put a little throat in so it's up to you what you want to do this one I'm gonna put a little throat so I'm just gonna attach that and make sure that's Right in the center, little red throat. See, I could have actually, I'm gonna go just slightly longer. I don't like how that is. I'm gonna get this off and just have this a little longer because once that head gets in, that'll cover quite a bit of this up and I don't want that. I want, so I'm just gonna go a little bit, of course the crazy glue's there, just a wee tad longer. So about there. That's better. That's better. Just where's my dubbing brush? Just want to brush that out so it separates. Yeah, there we go. So just make sure that's on there. Take your scissors and cut off your excess there of the. That was red shalopin, by the way. And like I said, I'll, I'll tie it in by the tip and then I'll, I'll actually palmer it in there uh, if I want it all the way around but in this case I didn't so now I can I really want to just make sure this head is is good and then what I like doing is like going back here and I'll take my soft head so these are this is a soft head by by um, Stonefo and I'll just push that on make sure that goes on as far as I want which it does so then I'll take a look yeah I'll do a little bit more thread just to make sure that head is tight and covered and why that a bit of a pearlized head here so there that's pretty good now I'm going to take my uh, whip finisher if I can find it right there got all kinds of deer hair and stuff on it so and then I'm just gonna whip finish right there behind the uh, eye of the hook and I'll do a second set right behind the eye of the hook pull really tight there it's nano silk I mean I'm almost bending this hook That's how strong this stuff is then I'm gonna take a good dab of this M 300 M crazy glue whatever and put it all the way around good dab of it take my soft head and get it in there a 
Okay, make sure that is centered. So that'll... Now, if you want more security, I know that'll hold, but a lot of people don't like that. So you can take your Nano Silk and just reattach it right in front there and build a tiny bit of a thread dam. I know some people just don't trust just the glue on the head. I've With these, I've never had a, a problem, but I'm just gonna build just a wee tad of a thread dam just so that can't come off. And then I'll take my whip finisher again and I'll whip finish once. And then I'll take a little bit of Sally's or whatever you like. Do a second set of whip finish right there. And now we know for a fact it ain't going nowhere. That head's not going nowhere. This fly's not getting undone, not with all that glue and and stuff. Uh, just make sure I tighten that. I've already spilt that once, so. So, there is pretty well the finished fly. Um, like I said, you can just see that, uh, that flat braid flashing coming through there. Just at the odd little bit here. These tails really move well. I could have used probably a little bit longer of a tail or shortened up on the red here, but I'm, I'm happy with it. The only thing I'm not gonna do right now is put the eyes on. Um, I ran out of the pearl sticky eyes. I put green ones on this one. I don't like the way it looks. Um, I like using the pearlized eyes or the um, the ones I really like are the these here, but in the bigger size, um, the living eyes by Fish Skull, right? But the bigger size for these, it just makes it look a little bit more natural. So yeah, and like I said, tie these up in, in a variety of colors, tie them up in black and blues, black and whites, blue and whites, red and whites, um, all kinds of different color combinations for obviously tropicals um, want to stay more of these vibrant tropical colors with like sometimes I'll put some peacock curl up over top of here um, just as a, as a, as a, that black or greeny black back um, but switch it up for your Gerards and your large rainbows like in the Shishwap and and uh, and, and Nicola and like bigger the bigger lakes where there's there they prey on on rainbows and things like that um, switch it up switch up your your size your length and switch up your colors Alrighty. well i hope you guys enjoyed that one um and uh thanks for uh tuning in to another episode of on the bench with sport fishing on the fly tie lines everyone <laughs>